So a bunch of corporations have unlimited access to funds that are supposed to be for the less fortunate. Does that really mean we need a charity's watchdog? Yes, it does, Tom. Because according to some obnoxious girl over there who loved my shirt, of the trustee companies in Australia, today they are almost all stock exchange listed, profit-driven financial service companies. I've seen Wolf of Wall Street, Tom. Sure, publicly floated companies start off nice enough, but soon greed takes over, yeah. and they'll be spending all that money on throwing dwarves at dartboards. Oh, I don't want to be throwing at a dartboard again. Then we can't stand by and let this happen, because as the ACNC has shown, apparently, if you're running an organisation and have just got buckets of money lying around, it takes superhuman control to not just try and steal it. But surely if you had the impetus to set up a charity... Hey there, buddy. You're looking a little light in the pocket. You know I'm filled with money. No bucket. I'm talking with Tom about why stealing is wrong. Oh, no one would notice if a little bit of the money was to disappear. And besides, if it wasn't for all your hard work, there wouldn't even be a charity. You deserve it. But Bucket will get caught. What about the watchdog? Shh. That dog don't hunt no more, sweetie. Well, maybe just a little taste. <laughs> Why it seems like such a crazy reason to get rid of the watchdog. Then again, we shouldn't be that surprised that the Liberal Party has less than positive feelings towards the idea of donations and transparency. Another MP sidelined as ICAC claims 10th Liberal scalp. Of course, that being said, maybe everyone else just could try to, I don't know, keep their f***ing hand out of the bucket. <sighs> Good night. Oh. Good. Now go buy some dwarves in a dartboard. Subscribe or Tom gets it! Wait, that's not gonna work. Everyone hates you. Mm, how about subscribe and Tom gets it? Yeah, that'll work. Thanks, Tom. No worries, Nick. Shut up, Tom!